Okay, here, here we, we are. are. <laughs> I'm here today with Angel, and we're going to be doing some Botox, but we're doing Botox in a few kind of odd areas that people probably don't know about as much, so we wanted to go through them and point out how they can benefit her. Um, she's had all, the, all these areas treated before. We're just kind of touching her up, so let's turn it on you a little bit. So we're treating her in some pretty common areas, like between her brows for the 11 lines over here in the crow's feet, but those are the most common areas. Some areas that we're adding that aren't as common are some lines that come across the nose. We call these the bunny lines, and you can do just a little bit of Botox here and here in the nasalis muscle so that these don't wanna get very deep. Another area we treat on Angel is for lip lines. Angel loves drinking out of a straw <laughs> more than anyone I know. <laughs> so you can just put, again, small amounts, just a few units of Botox above the lip, and it will decrease how hard she can pucker. Puckering is what causes those lines. So we just soften that out a little bit with a little Botox above the lip. It also flips out the lip just a little bit, so she'll get a little bit more show in her upper lip. Um, the last area we do on Angel helps to turn up the corner of the mouth right here. So there's a muscle that's right here, and if we inject a little bit of Botox there too, it relaxes this muscle up so that she gets a little bit of upturn to the corner of her mouth, okay? So we've already got all her Botox drawn up, so I'm just gonna grab it and we'll go ahead and do these areas, okay? Kindle is watching. Hello, watching. hello, Kindle. Hi, Kindle. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna clean you off first. Okay. And Angel's going on a trip to Hawaii, so we're just getting her spruced for her trip. Losing all the wrinkles. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm taking off all my marks. And so for those of you who have not had Botox before, Botox does not kick in immediately. Angel will see these results in a few days to a week. Okay, I'm just gonna make a couple marks. I'm gonna have you frown really hard. I'm just gonna kind of mark where I'm gonna inject and smile really big. Good, and wrinkle up your nose again for me. Good. And then pucker your lips. And I'm gonna have you pout your lower mouth. Good, so you can kind of see where it pulls down right in there. Okay, perfect. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna start in Angel's frown lines right in this area, okay? Maybe hold it up a little higher because I'm gonna come right here. Is that yeah, good? That's good. Okay. Okay, frown hard for me, Angel, and then relax. A little stick. We'll do our crow's feet next, and then we'll do all of our little odd areas last. Hi, we've got somebody else watching. <laughs> For those of you who are just kind of tuning in, we're doing some Botox on Angel in some areas that are maybe less common for Botox around the nose, the lips, and the corners of the mouth. Um, but first, we're going to go ahead and do her crow's feet, and then we'll get to those areas. See, it just leaves a few little red dots. You can wear makeup after or the same day as Botox, so you can kind of go back to work and just do this on a lunch break pretty easily. Okay, same thing on this side. So 
do a little up here at the corner of her brow to lift, and then the rest down lower, or to soften out some smile lines and crow's feet. Good job, Angel. Okay. Hello, got some more people watching. <laughs> New add-ons. I'm not sure if I'm holding it well. Come up a little higher so I can do your nose real quick. That? Sorry. Okay, so we're gonna do Angel's bunny lines. So wrinkle up again, Angel. So Botox can help soften these lines right here. And it'll just be one little prick on each side. Quick prick, Angel. Good. And wrinkle up again, and then relax. Same thing, a little prick on this side. And we just did four units in her nose, so it doesn't take very much um, to soften that small muscle right there. And same with these muscles around the mouth. For above her lip, we're just gonna do three units. So if you do too much, it can make it a little bit hard to pucker, grip around the straw. <laughs> <laughs> so you always wanna do a low dose in this area. Okay, little prick angel. This is probably the most sensitive area that we're treating. Put it on this side too. Just because the lip doesn't like to be stuck. That was easy. <laughs> you made it look easy at least. <laughs> One more prick on each side. It. Okay, and that's it for above the lip. It's pretty quick. It stings, but it's short-lived, so it's not too, too bad. Now, the Botox above the lip will wear off the fastest out of these areas because you have to use such a small amount so oh. that you don't overwhelm the mouth. Yeah. But luckily, since it's it doesn't last as long, it also does not cost very much because you don't need many units there. And again, for those of you that tuned in, that will help with any kind of lip lines and lines on her nose for what we've done so far there. Last area is going to be for the corners of Angel's mouth and this will help pop up that corner a little bit where she likes to pull down on the corner of her mouth. Okay Angel, go ahead and pout for me. Really turn down the corners of your mouth. Good, and you can see where it pulls right there and relax. No prick. And one more on this side. And turn down the corners of your mouth and relax again. Good. All right, and she's all done. All so done. that's Botox for kind of the lower face, nose, and we did the typical upper face too. But just some areas that are kind of odd that people don't normally think of. <laughs> Thanks for watching.